Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be continuing on reading my Pirate AU. I know it's been a while since I've recorded the, the last chapters, but um, since then my voice was a little bad. I am so sorry for the quality of those chapters. Um, I'm not going to be reading them again though, because that's too much work. So I'm just going to be starting off reading chapter uh, 13. So here we go. Chapter 13, Ants POV. When it became nighttime, I got down from the balcony and waited for a while until Hot Pops break. Get Aunt Polly headed to sleep after a minute. They're like a minute. I heard something splashing and looked in the water. <laughs> looked, in, looked in the water. Marcy came up. Hey, Marmar, I said as a nickname. Hey, did you just call me Marmar? She asked. Yes. Is that okay with you? Yes, it, it is, Anna Banana, she said. I laughed. So, what did your. Dad say, my adopted grandfather said yes, I said, I asked. He didn't really like how I trusted you. She didn't? Well, what about following my boat, I asked. He thinks you, your adopted grandfather, and everyone else on your boat will lead us away from our kingdom and kill us all. Well, we won't. If you stay in these waters, Sasha will find you, try to hurt you, or even kill you. Now, if you choose to stay in these waters... I will promise you I won't try to uh, try to hurt you or kill you. I will protect you from Sasha. Also, if she yet does be able to catch you, I will save you. I promise, I said. You promise? I'm scared now. And I don't know... Well, and I don't want to move to safer waters now. My dad is angry at me and Sasha wants to catch me. What if she does? What will happen to me? She asked. That scared, reaching for my hand. Look, I don't know what will happen, but until she finds you, I will protect you. And yes, I promise that to my heart and soul, I said, lowering my hand and grabbing onto hers. And then she gripped mine. Okay, she said. We stayed there for a while, then loosened our grips on each other's hands, then talked for a bit. I wish you could be a mermaid with me. Then maybe my dad will approve of you, but still, he has a hard time trusting new mermaids that don't live in... Live in the kingdom, he said. I wish you were human with me. You wouldn't have to be allowed to run, and I wouldn't have to protect you from getting caught by Sasha. And you wouldn't have to choose if you want to stay in these waters or move to safer waters. But I know you uh, made up your mind. You're staying in these waters, and that's fine with me, I said. I know. I wish I was there. I was there with you being human. How? How is it walking with legs? She asked. It's nice. I wish you were here with me as a human. Yes, having a tail is nice. Just want to do is walk with legs. Uh, well, I always imagine having a tail and being able to breathe underwater. Also, I don't know how you could breathe out of water, I said. Yeah, yes I can. All mermaids can do it, and breathing underwater is a little cool, she said. Well, okay, I said. After that, we talked for a while. Well, I gotta get back to my kingdom. My dad is probably really worried about me if you found out that I'm not in bed. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? She said. Okay, see you tomorrow. We said goodbye to each other. She went back in the water, and I walked up to the balcony and laid in my hammock. I looked at the night sky, then after a while, I'm trying to sleep. Uh, something hit the boat. I fell out of my hammock onto the floor. I got up quickly and ran to the lower deck. I turned the boat around and noticed who it was. I ran down the stairs, lower deck. Sasha, I said. Why, hello, Anne, she said. She was steering the boat. Why are you he here, I yelled at, over at her. I came from the mermaid. I watched the whole thing. So where is it, she asked, while stopping steering and coming face to face with me. The mermaid went back into the water. You'll never see her, and you won't catch her, not with me protecting her. So buzz off and leave her alone, I shouted. The mermaid is a girl now. We are getting somewhere. What's her name? She shouted. She shouted. She shouted. I'm not telling you, I said. Not telling me, Anne. We grew up together. Are you going to really not tell an old friend? Old friend. Old friend. I never was your friend, and I never will be your friend, I shouted. Oh, Anne. I never knew you were never my friend. I know you're lying to make me tell you. I shouted. You're right, I am. Lying. But you'll never be able to detect her. I will catch her in the end. Now I'll ask you one more time. Where is the mermaid? She asked. I told you, you'll never see her. She went back in the water. I don't know where she went. I swear, I lied. 
Okay, I guess we'll settle this the hard way, she said, drawing one of her swords. I guess we do, I said, drawing my sword. She jumped on my boat and, cla and, clash and clashed down. I blocked it. She touched the floor. Huh. As, she, as she touched the floor. I pushed up and she backed up. She lost her balance and went over the wooden railing, then grabbed onto the boat. I could have went over the wooden railing and saw her hanging and with half of her body in the water. I grabbed the wooden railing and bent down to put my put out my arm so she could grab my hand. Here, I'll help you up. Grab my hand. I said, I'd rather fall in the water than grab your hand. No, okay, but you'll probably get drown. The water can pull you down fast. It's very hard to swim up. I know, I've fallen in these waters before. Fine. Only because I don't want to die just yet, she said. Then she grabbed my hand and pulled... And I pulled her up over the wooden railing. Then she slashed at me. I blocked it quick. Then grabbed her arm and threw her over my head and across the boat. And she got up. I quickly ran at her and slashed. She blocked it. Then I slashed down to break her shorts clashing and shirt and walked over the wooden railing and threw her on her boat. I told you, you already. You'll never see the mermaid and... Be protecting her every step of the way. Now you should already know by the by now that you can't beat me in a sword battle. So stop trying, I said, putting my sword away. All right, you win again. I'll get out of here, but just be warned that I will come back, she said, putting her sword away, then turning around and walking away. Yeah, I've been warned, I shouted, then turned around and walked up to the balcony. I watched as Sasha steer her boat away. I thought I should steer the boat around, but I was so tired that I laid down in my hammock and looked at the night sky once again, and fell asleep doing so. I hope you enjoyed chapter uh, uh, 13. Now, I will be reading chapter 14 soon. Bye!